Let's get started with Anki. I will show you how to install Anki onto your computer, as well as download a pre-made deck for you to review. Soon you will be able to impress others with your knowledge of the Anki algorithm. To install Anki, you'll need to download first. You'll need to open your browser and type Anki download into the Google search. Click on the first link and then click on the blue download button. The page will automatically scroll down for you to choose the Anki version that is suitable for your operating system. If you're a Mac user like me, click on the tab for Mac and click download. If you're using a different operating system, just navigate in the bar here. Click on the downloaded file and follow the steps to install Anki. Now let's really start to learn how Anki works. For all further explanations, I'm going to use a small pre-made deck with selected Anki Inc. cards. If you want to follow along exactly, you can download the deck file from the course download section on medmastery.com. After it's downloaded, click on the file to open it in Anki. I am also going to use night mode, which you can set up inside the Anki preferences. To open these, press Command and Comma on a Mac or Ctrl and P on a Windows computer. Check the night mode box and restart Anki. Let's take a better look at the main screen now. The middle part shows the list of your decks. I just have one now. In the top bar we have buttons, DAX, Add, Browse, Stats and Sync. In the bottom bar there are three more buttons, Get Shared, Create Deck and Import File. Get Shared lets you download flashcards already created by other users. You can search for pre-made decks to any topic, for example Anatomy decks. Click on a title. Scroll down until you see the download button. After downloading it, click on the file and it will open in your Anki. To begin reviewing, click on the title of the added deck. Then click on Study Now. You see the front of the card now. Use your mouse to click Show Answer or use the shortcut by clicking the spacebar. You then rate your answer by clicking on Again, Hard, Good or Easy. You can also use the keyboard shortcut by using 1, 2, 3 or 4 respectively. How you rate the card determines the frequency in which you see it. For example, if I say this card is easy, Anki will show it to me much later than a card I rate as hard. Recall that I mentioned previously that understanding the terminology Anki uses can be a big hurdle to embracing its benefits. I'm here to break it down for you and remove that hurdle. Have you ever seen old school flashcard organizers? They have many slots to move cards into. If you remember the concept on the card, it moves one slot further and gets reviewed in a few days. If you forgot the answer, you move it into the first slot and review it tomorrow. Anki uses the same technique, although it's a bit more refined. So let's imagine you have a brand new flashcard you added to Anki. It will be categorized first as a new card. After you see it for the first time and answer it, which we will call a review from now on, it will become a learning card. After a few more reviews, it becomes a graduated card. The graduated card stays in the review process forever. However, every time you get it right, the interval becomes longer and longer. And it can even be years until the next time you see the card. With this knowledge, it's easy to understand what the numbers next to the deck's name mean. The light blue number is the number of new cards that you have never studied. The orange number is the number of learning cards that are due for review now. And the green number is the number of graduated cards that are due for review. 
The time intervals between reviews in the learning phase are defined in Anki options and are called learning steps. A recommended configuration is the first interval at 25 minutes and the second one is set at one day, in keeping with the spaced repetition principle. We will set learning steps later on in the lesson. After the cart has completed all the learning steps, it moves into graduated category. Anki applies an equation to calculate a new interval between reviews. It takes into account how we rated our answer, if we've forgotten or pressed hard on the card before, and many other variables. The intervals for learning steps are created by you. You can do that through accessing the options. The options are specific to each deck individually. To demonstrate, let's click on our deck and pull them up. Click on options in the bottom bar and start with the ones under the new cards heading. The Anki expert, known on YouTube under the name of Anking, recommends the following steps. Go to the learning steps within the new cards heading and assign 25 minutes to one day by typing 25M spacebar 1D. This means that you've set it as a two-step learning phase. If you see the card for the first time and know the answer, you click good on it. You will see it again in 25 minutes. If you click good again, you'll see it in one day. Now the card has graduated because it completed all the learning steps. So the next interval determined is the graduating interval. I suggest that you assign three days. The option called easy interval should be assigned a value of four days. Now scroll up to the daily limits category. I suggest 20 new cards per day is a good limit and I would set the review limit to the maximum of 9999. You get the most out of spaced repetition that way. Let's scroll down to the heading lapses. We will discuss the meaning behind the lap settings in another Med Mastery lesson. For now, let's just set it for 25 minutes one day as well. The minimum interval should be assigned three days, the leech threshold as four, and the action will be tag only. We can save the settings, rename them and use them for our other decks. One more important step is setting up an Anki web account. Click on sync in the top bar. You can either log in or sign up. You should sign up, don't forget your password, so you can access your account on other devices to learn with Anki wherever you are. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.